If you play the Hunter Call of the Wild, chances are that you have heard of the Great One. For some it's a trophy you dream of getting, and for others it's something that you have seen more than once. But something that is universal is how exciting it is to see that 10 fabled pop up when you spot your Great One for the first time. No matter how many times that you have seen it, you never get tired of the adrenaline rush that follows. But sometimes you think of crazy things that you can do to take it to the next level. Welcome to a very special video where we take down a Great One Moose and a Great One Whitetail in consecutive order on the exact same map. The way that we did this is actually very simple. I have grinded for countless Great One Whitetail on Leighton Lakes, and I have also grinded for multiple Great One Moose on the same map. So once we got a Great One Moose to spawn, we simply left it alive, took down our tents and blinds that we were using for the moose, and set them up for Whitetail. And a couple days later, we got a Whitetail Great One to spawn as well. This video was originally intended to be episode 3 of our 7 day grind series where I hunt for a specific great one for 7 days and show you the results all in one video. But when this moose spawned on day 2 of grinding, I knew I had to take advantage of the remaining 5 days and try something crazy. Also I have to mention that this video was more of a 5 day grind video instead of a 7 day grind video because we had such ridiculous luck with both the whitetail and the moose. So now that all of that is out of the way. Let's start at day one and walk you through everything that happened along this journey of getting two different species of Great One on the map at the exact same time. Well, you guys voted and it's time for the next seven day video to be on Moose. We're going to be grinding Moose for seven days and showcasing everything that we managed to get during this week and giving you the timestamps and dates of when we end up getting them, how many kills we were at, and everything in between. To take you guys on this journey with me along the way, and that is the first moose that we have killed. That makes kill number 125 in the current grind that we are in. It is 5.33 p.m. on October 18th of 2023. Now the question that I have is, will we continue this insane luck with our Leighton Lake moose grind? The first two grinds both took less than 500 kills each, and I'm really hoping that this third grind on Leighton can produce the same type of results. If we continue going at the current pacing that we've been going at during this grind, then we may be able to actually get a great one for one of these seven day videos. We've done two different weeks now. We did Fallow Deer for a week and then we did Black Bear for a week. Uh, killed like a thousand plus on both of them. Well, the bear we didn't get quite get to a thousand. I think we killed like 700 bears. But we killed over a thousand fallow. In fact, I think we killed way more than a thousand fallow now that I think of it. But uh, we didn't get a great one in either of those videos. We finally got our fallow a little bit after that. I think it was two or three days after we finished recording that video. But we didn't get it during the video. So I'm hoping that this time around we can actually manage to get a great one while recording for these uh, seven day videos. And again, I still don't have a name for this series. Uh, if I have a name by the time that I upload this, I'll put it on screen right now. But uh, as of now, I'm still trying to figure out a name that fits for this series. I really feel like seven day grinds is what I've got right now, but let me know if you guys have a better name for it in the comments down below. And that is a uh, gold 206 moose. We're off to a decent start, getting a couple of fours. Oh my gosh, that is the smallest two I have seen in a long time. Well, I can't shoot that. That would just... No, I can't shoot that. That's that's too small of a two. I think we're going to leave that thing. Now, this is a herd management grind, but it's nowhere near being as insane as any of our other grinds in terms of how managed it is. We're getting a diamond like every 30 to 50 kills, which is nothing compared to what we're getting on fallow deer or red deer or even the bears, to be honest. So it's hard to say how many diamonds we'll have to show in this grind, but gonna try and get as many as we can so that right there is a really nice looking level four let's sneak a shot in there if we can and that was not the hard shot I was hoping for you know it's probably the thing I like about the moose the least is the fact that if you miss a hard shot they die super slow you know what? we're gonna try tossing the three the 338 into this loadout and just see if we like using both the 300 and then the 338 as our backup rifle for in case we miss the first shot. And by miss the first shot, I of course mean if we miss the hard shot with the 300, we'll uh, switch to the 338 and see how that does on taking them down. Because 
I feel like the follow-up shots with the 300, even if I hit vitals, it really doesn't kill them that quickly. As long as you are hitting lung, you pretty much have to hit heart or else they just die so slow. Honestly, we either need a faster firing 338 or 300, or we need a bigger rifle like a 375 to take down these moose. Because it's, uh, it's rough without something crazy like that. Okay, so I just realized, I think we have an extra level two here. So we can actually leave that zone, which means we can pack up these tents and take them to another area. Ooh, there we go. That is our first level five since we started this video. Holy crap. Okay, so it is now 6.10 p.m. on October 18th. We are at 151 kills. So this is not long after starting this video up. We got a whole lot of uh, hunting in front of us, but I'm glad that we got a big diamond early. That's definitely big rack. So hopefully this guy will be 300 plus. And that's going to be the hard shot right there. Let's see how big this guy is. Yeah, that is definitely big rack as we thought. Let's see if this guy will be a 300 plus. I think he's got a chance. It's a 300.50. Let's go. Not as big as I was hoping for. I was really hoping for a 302 because that is like the epitome of the best of the best moose diamond that you could get. So it's not a 302, but it is a 300 plus, which is still really, really good. So we're off to a fantastic start with a max weight diamond moose. And considering we're not nearly as heavily managed on this grind as we are on a lot of the other grinds, that's pretty nice to get a max weight one. Well, that's a level 5. That's not a good rack for a level 5, though. Oh, man. I don't think that's going to make it. I don't think it will. Just in case it does and it makes it to this video, this is 157 kills into the grind. It's currently 6.19 p.m. on October 18th of 2023. Hopefully, this will be our second diamond of this video. We can hope at least. We're probably going to put a lot of these diamonds in the video since I don't get as many diamond moose as I do all the other species that we've been doing for this series. So, we might actually put a good bit of the diamonds in here. Fortunately, we're putting those shots in there too because they came right after the diamond. Ugh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, so I seriously want to know who told this guy he could become a level 5. He does not look like he's going to be anywhere close to Diamond. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misjudging him a little bit too early. Let's see. Man, I almost did misjudge him. That was really close. I guess I was wrong. I guess this is the version of this rack that actually scores pretty good. I wonder what does it. Maybe the width of the palm? Oh, either way, he was super, super close. That's, that's a big male. Oh, uh, please be a five. Please be a five. It looks huge. Ah, uh, it's a four that has... that. That's a diamond, I think. Yeah, that's definitely the bigger version of that type of rack, I think. I think that's the one that can make it. We're about to find out, though. It's either the one that can make it, or it's going to be, like, just barely below, I think. Yeah, I think this is the one that can make it. Hey! He made it! Let's go! Ah, uh, we broke the dry streak! We did it. We broke the dry streak of Diamond Moose. Man, that's the first diamond in over 100 kills. That's bad for herd management. Like, if we were not doing herd management, that'd be perfectly normal. But we're doing herd management and it took that long. That's rough. All right, since this is probably going to go in the video for the uh, seven-day moose grinding video, it is currently 3.17 p.m., on October 19th of 2023, we're at 246 kills in the grind. This is the first diamond since the uh, last one, the last uh, trophy that would be in this video. That's a five. That's a disappointing looking five, but it's a five. You do not look like you're going to make it at all. Come on, little moose. Face me. Face me like a man. Dude, no. Why would you do that? Oh, there's no way. Oh, there's no way. Come on. <laughs> uh, come on, dude. That one just knew that I was about to shoot. Yeah, yeah, we missed the we missed the heart. Okay. I know one of the no brow tine racks can make it. I don't know if it's this one though. Oh my gosh, it's this one. <laughs> 
It actually made it. <laughs> oh, that shocked me. That uh, He actually made it. He doesn't even look like he should be a diamond. Look at those antlers. How is this diamond? I gotta know. How is this diamond? But some of those uh, ones with the big brows are not diamond. Love to see it. This will probably go in the uh, video. So it's currently 3.37 p.m. October 19th, 2023. This is kill number 266. And it is the fifth diamond of the grind. Third that will be in this video. Ooh, there's a five. That's a guaranteed diamond. First level five of the day is a guaranteed diamond. Let's go. 217 away. I think we got this. And that's going to be a hard shot. Love to see it. How many drink zones do I have? Like 110, I think. 286 hit bottom of the estimate. That's our first diamond of the day, though. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Also, for the video that this is going to go in, we are 291 kills into the grind. It's 2.37 p.m. on October 20th of 2023. Uh, this will probably be like the third or fourth one in the video, I think. Uh, I don't watch soccer uh, fishing forever. To be honest, I don't watch... Oh, yes! <laughs> there it is! Holy crap! Oh, already? Dude, already? Oh my gosh, already. There's no way. Already. What? Dude, we're not even 300 kills in the grind. <laughs> we're at 297. And there he is. Oh my gosh, it's a fabled oak spider rack. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, the, the, the bad luck streak has definitely ended. It's definitely ended. This is the third great one in a week. Let's go. We went almost a month without a great one. And now we've had three of three different species within a week of each other. Holy crap, man. Gosh, dude. You know what that means. It's time to get a whitetail great one on the map as well. Because I said I wanted to get a moose and a whitetail at the same time. And then take them both. In one video. So I think that's what we got to do. I think we got to set up our whitetail. I think we got to set up our whitetail grind and get a whitetail on the map as well. What's my favorite map to hunt? Emerald Coast for sure. Fantastic map. Lots of amazing species. It's a really good looking map. Like it's just got, oh, do it already. Yes, yes, we did it. Oh my gosh. What? Let's go guys. Let's go. Woo. Oh my gosh, 409 kills. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it's a big rack. It's a big rack. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would end that fast, man. Gosh, what am I going to do for the rest of the seven day grind video? This ended so quickly. And now that you guys have seen all of the moments leading up to the spawning of both of these great ones, it is time that we stock up on them and take them down in consecutive order. And I've decided to use the 44 lever action to take down these beasts. A couple of weeks ago, we got a Texas heart shot on a diamond black bear. We had been attempting that for probably a week straight where we just... We're trying multiple different species and angles to get that perfect Texas heart shot. And we even tried it on a great one fallow deer and sadly didn't quite get it. And considering whitetail and fallow deer are very similar in terms of how tough they are and how difficult they are to take down, I think we should be able to easily get enough penetration to hit vitals attempting a Texas heart shot. So I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to try and Texas hard shot this guy right here. We are almost lined up perfectly. We just need to move a little bit more to the right and hope that none of them spot us. Because if one spots us, even if the others don't spook off, they're still going to start moving along towards the direction of the one that spooked. So it's very vital that we don't spook any of them. And the biggest problem right now is going to be this wind. It's blowing in this direction. So the more we move over, the more chances that they 
catch our wind, and just absolutely book it out of here. Typically, as long as the animals are facing away from you, you can slow crawl pretty far up close to them, uh, provided you're using cover along the way as well and have all the perks that reduce the amount of noise that you make and also the ones that reduce the amount of visibility you have in bushes. Like right now, you can see we are completely hidden and that's what that little icon down there means. So we're in a good spot. It's just a matter of can we get to where we can actually see him without the wind becoming an issue. I got a feeling that they've started to notice that we're here, which is not good for us. I need to find a place to hide us as quick as possible. And none of this is hiding us fully. That is the worst case scenario possible. Oh my gosh. We moved a little bit too far, actually. Let's see, does this hide us? Please tell us we get hidden somewhere in this area. Okay. Here we go. Here is the attempt. Now the toughest thing is going to be getting the perfect angle to where it goes into the heart and not just the lungs. I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh, fingers crossed that that was a Texas heart shot and not just a liver or lung shot. I I think it was good. No, we missed the Texas heart shot. Just barely. Man, if I would have just aimed a little bit lower, we would have got it. Because aside from being slightly high, that was pretty much perfect. Either way, though, that is great one. Number one of two going down, and you guys know what that means. It is time to take down the great one, Moose. And it's going to be very interesting to see how this 44 lever does against a Moose, as I've never shot one with it. But that is such an insane whitetail. 634 is about average for this rack, so it's not super high scoring or super low scoring for this particular rack shape. But it's still an awesome thing to see. Anytime you get a great one, it doesn't matter what it is. It is a crazy moment. And there is the second great one that we're going to be taking down. A beautiful fabled oak spider rack moose. This is going to be interesting to see how this 44 right here can do against a big moose like him. The other thing that's going to be very interesting is the journey that we have to take around the water just to get close to him. Now, we've had one of our other great ones off of Leighton spawn in this zone, and it took a long time to get up close enough without spooking him to where I could actually get a shot on him. So I am not looking forward to the trek that we're about to have to go through. We should be getting very, very close at this point. This is approximately the area that he was in. He could be a little bit further down, but we're definitely within 120 meters of this moose, which means we got to belly crawl the rest of the way. We got to make sure that we're using our cover as much as possible and making sure that if we hear any of the moose alerting us using warning calls or something like that, that we stop moving and try to get cover immediately. Luckily, bushes like this are hiding us so far if we get in the right spot. Yeah, like right there we're hidden, so hopefully this will not be as difficult of a sock as I'm expecting it to be. Okay, I'm starting to see their tracks, which means we're probably really, really close. I'm afraid to get up right now, though, because I'm not in cover at the moment. Let's get hidden. And then we should be able to get up and... In <laughs> okay. I'm glad I waited till we were in cover. Because they are a lot closer than I initially expected. But where is... There he is. There he is, right there. There is our great one. He is insanely close. Okay, we gotta be really, really careful that we don't mess this shot up. We could easily spook him by moving around too much. Uh, let's get the dog to lay down as well so that it doesn't get in front of us when we shoot. Uh, we're still hidden right now. I'm gonna try and get to the front of this bush right here since we're still being hidden. I think this is going to be the perfect shot to take him from. 
All right, we're still hidden. Right there. The problem is he's facing away from us. I think what I'm going to have to do is may this may seem stupid. We're going to move around a bit. We got the attention of this guy, but this guy's only attentive. And I also don't want to make this guy attack us, so that's another problem we got to worry about. Gosh, this is such a nerve-wracking hill to go for. Here he goes, here he goes. Okay. He's coming towards us now. We got him. Oh my gosh, we got the hard shot. We pulled off the hard shot. That female is trying to attack us now, which is not good. Let's get in the water where she can't reach us. And see if shooting in the air will get rid of her. Okay. She's gone. Holy crap, that was insanity. <laughs> okay, that was a lot more nerve-wracking than that whitetail kill was, and I mean, that whitetail kill was a Texas hard shot attempt, which you'd think would be more exhilarating, but that was crazy, getting that close to this guy, almost having him spook off, and then getting attacked by the female. Wow. What a beautiful Great One Moose. This is... A really underrated combo, I gotta say. I don't see many people talking about the Fabled Oak Spider Rack, but when you really look at this thing in the claim screen and up close like we just did, this is a stunning moose. This is an absolutely stunning moose, and I think he's a little bit wonky as well. Let's take a look at this. So, it looks like he's got the same number of times, but he is a little bit different on the width of palm. And also, the big one, the palm length is a little bit different. That's why we've got a little bit of a difference here in the height of the antlers. That is a really, really cool moose. And now for the moment that we have all been waiting for. It is time to take a look at the codex and see back-to-back -back great ones. So let's go ahead and do it. And just like that, we have back-to-back -back great ones one of them being a whitetail, one of them being a moose shot literally 12 minutes apart. In the past, we have shot multiple Great One Whitetail in consecutive order. We've stacked, I think, clear up to four of them over the course of a couple of weeks. But I've never done two different species before because I've never had two grinds going at once. But with, with Leighton Lakes, the fact that we did so many whitetail grinds and then moved to moose grinding and did a few moose grinds, we had both of them ready to go. All I had to do was take down the tents and tripods and set them up for a different species. At this point, we now have a good variety of Great One Moose to look at in our lodge with this guy definitely being our rarest one, the Fabled Oak 50-50 rack. And this one right here definitely being my favorite one that we have ever killed, the Two-Tone Big Rack. However, this guy is definitely going to be towards the higher end of my favorite Great One Moose that we have killed with uh, ones like this guy and that one being kind of a little bit further down, but still looking phenomenal. And of course, the common fur type ones from before they made the fabled furs guaranteed being kind of at the bottom of the list because they just didn't look that crazy back when they had common furs. But what does look crazy is the current Great One Moose where you are guaranteed to get these fabled furs with all these amazing racks. And I just can't believe that we managed to get this one so quickly. The Leighton Lakes Moose Grind has been so ridiculous, so much better than our Revon Tuli Grinds and our Medved Grinds. It is just insane to see how much success we have had on Leighton Lakes. It's just, it's just my favorite map for Great One Grinding. It really is. For both moose and for whitetail as well, we have had so many whitetail grinds on Leighton Lakes. We've got over 37,000 whitetail kills in total, with the majority of those being from Leighton Lakes. It's just been a phenomenal map for me to grind, and I've enjoyed every single moment of it. And I hope you have enjoyed every single moment watching these trophies get taken down throughout the years here on the channel. It's crazy to think that we have been grinding for Great Ones for over three years at this point with us taking it a bit more seriously over the last like year and a half. Thank you all so much for being a part of a massive milestone here on the channel of taking two different Great Ones of two different species down on the same map in consecutive order. 
That is something I didn't ever think that we would achieve, and we managed to do it today and throughout the last week. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as leaving a comment down below letting me know which of these two great ones is your favorite. Is it the moose or is it the whitetail? Leave a comment down below, and if you made it this far in the video, also leave a comment saying I made it, and I will try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!